So I think that we all knew that if Bernie Sanders really started to gain a lot of momentum, this primary was going to get super ugly. And we are to that point where it's getting ugly. And I can only anticipate it getting much, much uglier because we are now in a situation where the Democratic Party establishment is so tormented over the prospect of Bernie Sanders winning the nomination that they are openly discussing a plan to just outright steal the nomination away from Bernie Sanders at the convention. So how are they trying to do this? Well, there's a couple of members from the DNC who are proposing a reversal to the rules change that was adopted by the Unity Reform Commission. So as you all know, the power of superdelegates was, um, it was diminished. So now they can only vote on a second round if nobody wins outright. So these individuals are really hoping that in the event there isn't a contested convention and Bernie Sanders, you know, is the clear frontrunner, they still have some way to stop him from winning. And the way that they want to do that is to bring back the power and influence of superdelegates. Now, for more on this, we go to David Siders of Politico, who explains a small group of Democratic National Committee members has privately begun gauging support for a plan to potentially weaken Bernie Sanders' presidential campaign and head off a brokered convention. In conversations on the sidelines of a DNC executive committee meeting and in telephone calls and texts in recent days, about a half dozen members have discussed the possibility of a policy policy reversal to ensure that so-called superdelegates can vote on the first ballot at the party's national convention. Such a move would increase the influence of DNC members, members of Congress, and other top party officials who now must wait until the second ballot to have their say if the convention is contested. Quote, I do believe we should reopen the rules. I hear it from others as well, one DNC member said in a text message last week to William Owen, a DNC member from Tennessee who does not support reopening the rules. Owen, who declined to identify the member, said the member added in a text that it would be hard, though. We could force a meeting or on the floor. Even proponents of the change acknowledge it is all but certain not to gain enough support to move past these initial conversations, but the talks reveal the extent of angst that many establishment Democrats are feeling the eve of the Iowa caucuses. So this is just despicable. It's morally reprehensible. You have members of a party with democracy in their name, openly flaunting, stealing the nomination from Bernie Sanders. Pretty brazenly so. I mean, why else would you float a rules change? They're saying it. They're not even hiding it. We want to steal the nomination from Bernie Sanders, or at a minimum, bring back superdelegates, so that way the media can start counting superdelegates which, with, with pledged delegates, and that gives voters the impression that he's, you know, more behind because he will get less support from superdelegates, obviously, than just, you know, uh, pledged delegates. It'll make it seem like, you know, the lead between him and Joe Biden is insurmountable because the, the establishment hates him, you know? Superdelegates will side with whoever the nominee is, with the exception of Bernie Sanders, even Elizabeth Warren. They'd support her over Bernie. So, I mean, you've got to understand that whatever they can do to tip the scales, that's what they're trying to do, even if it means ruining democracy. But understand this, this would not just ruin democracy. This would destroy the Democratic Party. And I don't just mean that they lose to Donald Trump, because that would be a certainty. But this would destroy the Democratic Party. They would collapse. And a new party would have to take its place, because voters would be so outraged that there would be no recovering from it. They would lose fundraising. The institution wouldn't be able to sustain itself in the event they did something this brazen. And people, millions of people, would take to the streets because this would not be acceptable. I would predict that even members of the party who don't support Bernie Sanders would speak out because this is so brazenly undemocratic. I mean, this is, this is quite literally authoritarian where you undermine the will of voters because... You don't like the results of the election. I mean, they talk about how Vladimir Putin influenced the 2016 election, and yet here they are trying to steal the election, brazenly so. Now, look, I don't want you to feel discouraged. I don't want you to take away from this story that the situation is hopeless, because this is actually a really good sign for us, specifically because it indicates that he really can win. He can win if they're saying this. Now, there's only about six members, um, but I will say this. They need to show themselves, like reveal your names. Don't be a coward. They need to speak up and Tom Perez needs to fire them immediately. This would not be acceptable. Even if they said, look, let's steal it from Joe Biden. 
they should be fired because you have to allow voters to make their deci decision, even if you don't like that result. Look, we're doing everything in our power to win this primary for Bernie Sanders. But if it's fair and voters just don't side with us, I'll be demoralized. But at least I will know that voters had their voices heard. But if, you know, for whatever reason, um, things went south and Joe Biden or Pete Buttigieg emerged as the nominee and the DNC stole it, that would be so fundamentally immoral, I wouldn't be able to support it. Like if they stole it from Joe Biden, which they never would do, and gave it to Bernie, as a Bernie supporter, I couldn't support that. That's how immoral and undemocratic it is. Either you believe in democracy or you don't. Now, Tom Perez responded to this because as soon as this article came out, it blew up. And he said, absolutely not. We put in the work to ensure power was returned to the grassroots. We will be following the rules set forth by the DNC. We will not bend on this. We will not change our rules. Now, um, I guess this is a good sign that he's saying this. Although, can we trust Tom Perez? <laughs> I can't say it with a straight face. Of course we can't. He changed the rules to accommodate Mike Bloomberg after fucking over Mike Gravel. Why? Well, I don't know, but Mike Bloomberg did donate hundreds of thousands of dollars to the DNC. So is he willing to change the rules? Yes. Will he change the rules in this instance? He's saying no. But uh, just understand this, Tom Perez. We're watching. We're watching very, very closely because you're not going to be able to get away with this. Like, what do you expect just for us to get a plurality or majority of delegates? And then you just say, actually, we choose Joe Biden and we're just going to be cool with that. Do you understand? Like, there's no way that a rational minded individual in the DNC would be OK with this, knowing the repercussions, knowing the backlash there there's no like they'd be insane but just the fact that you have about six people half a dozen or so probably more openly floating this prospect of stealing the nomination from bernie sanders it shows you that this institution is rotten to its core and in the event bernie sanders does become the nominee then he's got a clean house fire every single person at the dnc leave no stone unturned get them all out because if you have this type of culture at the DNC that's this toxic to where they are so brazen about their hatred of Bernie Sanders and the grassroots that they'd outright steal the election, we can't have that. So here's the thing. When you get to a certain point, the establishment can only do so much. Like we saw this in 2016 and we're seeing the same thing now. You know, the, the RNC was definitely trying to do whatever they could to fuck over Donald Trump. You had individuals like Mitt Rom Romney float, you know, possible runs. We're seeing that now with John Kerry, but guess what? It may be too late for them. Bernie Sanders may very well be unstoppable. We don't know. We don't know, but just the mere fact that this conversation is taking place with members of the DNC who have power, it's downright despicable. It's morally reprehensible. And every single elected Democrat should be speaking out against this at the top of their lungs. Because if you believe in democracy and you truly want some type of alternative to the Republican Party, you've got to condemn this. And I'm calling on every single person to speak out against this. Because this is downright sick. This is gross. This is perverted. Anyone who would be willing to stoop to this they really should not be participating in politics and they should be fired immediately. It's unacceptable. So I don't think that they're going to be successful here, but that doesn't mean that we should be naive and trust them. And we certainly have to uh, watch them very closely, be vigilant and, you know, not let our guards down because we may have to protest. There may need to be, you know, um, a mass occupy the uh, Democratic Convention event. There may be, you know, walkouts. If they do this, you know, they don't know what they just did. Like they are they are opening the door to just pure destruction of their party. So I don't think that they would be able to do this, but again, the fact that it's being floated completely unacceptable. They've got to be fired. You're fired. Get out of here. You could support the Humanist Report at Patreon dot com slash humanist report but trust me i'd have way more supporters on patreon if that was my podcast sad <laughs>